Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 14th problem from depreciation lesson. I am taking this problem from Telangana State Telugu Academy Inter Second Year Accountancy Textbook. But this video is useful to all common students who want to know about depreciation lesson. I made 15 videos on depreciation topic. Video links are available in the description box. Let us see the question first. The nation company purchased a machine on 1st July 2016 for 1 lakh rupees. They purchased one asset for 1 lakh rupees on 1st July 2016. Depreciation is provided at 20% under diminishing balance method. 20% per annum under diminishing balance method. On 1st October 2016, another machine was bought for 20,000 rupees. In 14th problem also, additional purchase is given. There are two assets. Second asset is purchased on 1st October 2016 for 20,000 rupees. Prepare machine account for three years by closing books on 31st March every year. Means firm is following financial year. Year starting date 1st April and year ending date 31st March. Let us see the dates first. They purchased the asset on 1st July 2016. After that date, March month falls in 2017 year. From this date, if you count 12 months, then starting date of the year is 1st April 2016. So 1st year is 1617. For 3 years he is asking now, then 2nd year will be 17-18, 3rd year 18-19. So up to 31st March 19 we have to show the asset account. In 1st year they bought another asset, 20,000 worth asset on 1st October 2016. So these two purchase dates falls between 1-4-16 and 31st March 17. So, in first year, they bought two assets. First asset, one lakh worth asset, they used from 1st July 16 to 31st March 17. So, how many months they used? July month fully they used. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So, first asset is used for nine months. And second asset they bought on 1st October 2016 now. So from this date to 31st March 17. 1st October means October also they used. October, November, December, January, February, March. Second asset is used for 6 months. In second year and third year they have two assets and both are used for 12 months. Let us see the answer. They purchased first asset on 1716. No? First you write down that purchase details. Debit side to bank account on 1st July 16. First asset cost 1 lakh rupees. And in the same year they bought another asset now. So debit side purchase date 1st October 16 to bank account 20,000 rupees. Now Total becomes 1,20,000. First year last day, 31st March 17. On that day, we have to provide the depreciation now. By that day, we have two assets with us. 1 lakh worth asset, 20,000 worth asset. We cannot club both and on total 1,20,000, you cannot calculate depreciation. Reason is, these two assets are not used for same period. First asset is used for 9 months and second asset is used for 6 months. As usage period is not same, we have to calculate depreciation separately. One numerator, one denominator we have to cancel. Two thousand five hundred into two, five thousand rupees into three, fifteen thousand is a depreciation 
on first essay. I am writing here 15,000. Now come to second essay. Two thousand is a depreciation on second asset. Then total depreciation is fifteen thousand plus two thousand seventeen thousand. Write down this seventeen thousand in a moon column. Find out the difference. Debit total is more. So debit total minus credit total. One lakh twenty thousand rupees. Minus seventeen thousand one lakh three thousand. Write down on credit side. Last date of the year by balance carried down one lakh three thousand. Now put the total one lakh twenty thousand. First year is completed. Bring the balance to next year starting date. Date is immediate next date of this date. First April two thousand seventeen. Two balance brought down this value. One lakh three thousand. Opening balance of two assets on the starting date of second year. Now, in second year, these two assets are used for twelve months. So we need not to calculate depreciation separately. On total value, only for one time, if you calculate depreciation, that is enough. On one lakh three thousand rupees, twenty percent. Ten thousand three hundred into two, twenty thousand six hundred. Now debit total one lakh three thousand minus twenty thousand six hundred, eighty two thousand four hundred. Credit side by balance carried down. Put the total. Second year is completed. Now bring the balance to third year. Date is next immediate date of this date. First April eighteen two balance brought down eighty two thousand four hundred. This is also opening balance of two assets on starting date of third year. On this value directly we can calculate depreciation because in third year also two assets are used for twelve months eighty two thousand four hundred into twenty percent. Eighty two forty into two, sixteen thousand four eighty. Now debit total eighty two thousand four hundred minus sixteen thousand four eighty, sixty five thousand nine twenty credit side. By balance carried down sixty five thousand nine twenty. Total is eighty two thousand four hundred. For three years he asked one two. Three, but asset account is not yet closed. There is balance carried down. So for next year, you have to bring the balance and you have to leave the problem. Next immediate date of this date is first April nineteen. Two balance brought down. Bring this value sixty five thousand nine twenty. So this is all about fourteen the problem from depreciation lesson. Hope this video is useful to you. Thank you.